Hi guys, my name's Rick Shields down here at Golf Central in Brisbane, Australia, testing the new TaylorMade Aero Burn Iron versus the TaylorMade RSI One. So we've got face slots against no face slots, both seven irons, and we're hitting real golf balls, the Shrix and Z Star, which they have down here in the kind of VIP area here at Golf Central, um, the members only area. I've got GC2, which will be giving me some really solid data. Um, and we're gonna compare these two next head to head. To give a bit of a spec, they're the same length golf club exactly. They're in a slightly different shaft, but nothing much. Both stiff flex, both 90 and 88 grams, nothing much at all. We've got a slight difference in loft. So the Aero Burner, well, both these two clubs are strong anyway, but the Aero Burner has the tailor made by one degree. So the RS, tailor made, the RSI one is 30 point, 30.5 degrees of loft on the seven iron. The aero burner is 29.5. See if that makes a difference. See if it makes a difference. Uh, right, let's go, uh, let's go RSI one first. Now I like these RSIs, they got into my top 10. Uh, they were the topped, the RSI range topped my top 10 list at the start of the year. Uh, just because the performance was excellent, I think they look fantastic. I think I understand the face lot technology quite well. Interesting how they've not brought that into the aero burner. I suppose there's got to be a bit of difference in the club in some way, shape, shape or form. Uh, but I think these, the, for me, the RSI, even the RSI ones, don't look overly chunky. They look like they've got a big forgiving head, but they're not, you know, shovels. They're as good looking iron. Right, let's get hitting some. They just feel great. Off centered hits, they work. They feel good, they sound good, they fly good, they're long. The RSI 1s, the RSI 2s, the RSI TPs, they're right up there. With, I would say, the best tailor made irons they've made. I'm getting bitten by mozzies now. If someone did warn me, it would get like that this time of day. I didn't listen. I did not listen. No mozzie spray, so hopefully I don't get bit too much. Right. Let's go. Two more with the RSI one. Okay. A nice, really nice. I'm gonna leave the data just for the moment. Let me hit the aero burner next. So one degree difference, is it gonna make a huge difference? You would predict maybe about three to four yards should do, but there's more metal behind the head of this. There's more chunk. So that might make, might make a difference. It's definitely a bigger head when you look down and with no face locks, how about the other face locks for me, even if they didn't do anything, they frame the face and they make it look like there's, there's a bit of a bump at either side. It feels like there's protection, which is good. That's it, a couple of these aero burners. Slightly different sound, slightly louder noise off the face. I wouldn't say it's as nice a sound. I'd say it's a little bit more <laughs> explosive off the face. I wouldn't say it was a particularly nice noise. Not hit as good, but I'm gonna keep them all in there. Wasn't hit quite as solid. I think for me, just that chunky iron just doesn't doesn't suit my eye as much, but I'm not, that's my opinion, I'm not saying that that's for everyone. That felt nice. Let's go one more, and then we've got a bit of a comparable, bit of comparison. Let's go one more shot. I can't see any difference at all between those shots. Out of any of them, out of four of the RSI one or the four of the Aero Burner, I can't see a single bit of difference visually. So that's where we've got these, the numbers. Let's have a look. I'm hitting these a lot straighter now. I know where my straight line is. I wasn't quite as good with the Aero Burner before. Let's start off with the RSI one, okay? Average carry distance for the seven iron that I was hitting was 183 yards. Very good front to back. I hit the, 
the first three in a row, 184 yards. Hit 184, 184, 184. Which was good. Uh, ball speed, club head speed looked good. Nothing much, you know, difference in there. Um, spin rate's about like six and a half thousand for a seven's great. So 183 of carry distance. Let's go aero burner next. Okay, what did I, what did I say before? My prediction was three to four yards. The average carry distance for the aero burner was 187, four yards of difference. So that extra degree got four yards of extra distance. The furthest one was 193. So when, you, when I did get it better, it was a bit further. The shortest one was 184. So even the shortest aero burner was the same, it was longer than the average of the RSI ones. Interesting results, very interesting. Not much difference, not much at all. I think the one degree probably just makes the aero burner longer. But for me, the, the, the RSI with the bumpers still has that massive appeal with the face slots, has that massive appeal for the bigger audience and they're just not as chunky. Interesting. Interesting. Which one do you go for? Which one do you look at if you're looking for an iron that hits the ball a long way and forgiving? Both these two are in the same market of that. It depends which one you like the look of, and I'm sure the ones that kind of fit your budget the most. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think about this amazing facility. Golf Central down here in Brisbane is phenomenal. I want to thank them for letting me do some filming down here um, because it's just glorious. Tricks and Z Star Ball for practicing with. That's not bad. Click like, let us know what you think. Subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next time. Oh, mini, mini drivers coming next. Aero burning mini drivers. Stay tuned for that, guys.